Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode and another Ultimate Deck Boat Build. Today, I'm going to be doing some more painting. Um, the other day, I did an experiment with wood glue and tried to uh, fill in the gas with wood glue. It did not work, so I'm going to have to um, switch over to uh, some caulk, which I have, and I'm going to do that today. So. Let's jump right into it and let's start getting some paint done. Another item is, I think I'm going to uh, reutilize this as the floor instead of the wood piece that I have. I'll be looking into that a little bit more to see how hard or easy it might be and then um, try to utilize this a little bit more. I wasn't able to finish off the routing of this corner right here. The router wasn't able to reach all the way in the corner, so I'm gonna to have to finish that up with a sander. Once I finish that, I'm gonna start painting. Okay, there you have it. The first coat of paint is on. Um, I think I'm going to do one coat everywhere except for the top of the deck. And the top of the deck, I'm going to give it two coats just because um, if water gets on it, it's going to be seeing the most water. So I wanted that extra coat of protection. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to put another coat on here in a little bit. Um, for now, I'm going to go into the boat and paint the uh, main support brackets. So let's get that going. Thank you. 
Okay guys, moving right along, I got those support braces painted. The lid, the step, the wall, and now I'm going to do the support bracing. Okay, I got the frame bracing all painted. Um, when it dries, probably tomorrow, I'll have to flip uh, these these three items right here over and paint the uh, undersides of those. But uh, the wall and the step are done and all of these support boards in here are done. You guys might have saw me paint the boat a little bit. I painted the spots that got cut with the grinder and uh, painted those up just so it didn't look like bare metal and it kind of blended in pretty well with the white so not too worried about what it looks like under the storage area but just kind of cleaned it up a little bit um, wasn't too keen on getting carried away so not a not a big deal just a, a little bit of touch up so went to Home Depot got some silicone and um, I'm going to use this to fill in the cracks of the trolling motor box. So let's get going on that. Alrighty, she is all sealed up with silicone. Um, not the best job in the world. I'm not very good at it, but it's pretty clean. It's going to get painted over and then a Rhino liner is going to get applied to it. So um, I don't even think you'll notice it. It'll be a nice foot pedal box for your trolling motor. So we got everything painted, you know, except the bottom halves, like I mentioned. Those are gonna have to be painted another time. These are all done. Next step for these are uh, uh, applying some bed liner to them. Everything needs assembled back together. I'm debating on what to do with my floor. I kinda think I wanna put that carpet back in. Um, I'm kinda having doubts on that. I don't know why, I'm just thinking uh, that'll look a lot cleaner if I can get it cut right and it'll be a perfect fit. But I'll have to do some cutting to get that in there. So stay tuned and I'll let you know the outcome of that. All right guys, we're coming along, but we still have so much to do. Uh, this project is getting overwhelming a little bit. Um, especially with this nice weather but with the coronavirus and whatnot i have a lot more time to stay in now but uh, i'm still working full time and trying to get this done and then now we got a lot of projects especially with uh, the new truck out there so bear with me i'll get everything done eventually make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with uh, everything that's going on right now and I will see you on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outside and keep having fun with your boat. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.